right now, police are looking for the suspect who shot and killed two men. Let's get out to Steve Keeley. Steve? Yeah, it's sad. We got to interrupt all the good news and positive stuff uh, from last night with this awful stuff. And here is the scene. It's the Jade Palace Corner Chinese Takeout and also serving American food there. And those takeout stores that stay open late are prepared for criminals. That's why they're outfitted with the latest surveillance and also have that thick protective barrier between customers, criminals potentially, and the workers. And so what happened is what they prepared for. Sadly, the customers can't be prepared for this because there's only one door in, one door out, and when a killer is blocking the doorway and firing at the two men inside, there was nowhere for them to run. Now, we know both of these victims were inside of the takeout restaurant, takeout area, when they were shot. The one victim who's critical was able to crawl out of, of the restaurant because the entire incident was captured on interior surveillance cameras at the restaurant. We know at least 14 shots were fired from a semi-automatic weapon. There's multiple shell casings on the sidewalk and on the step leading into the takeout area. And we found multiple shell casings inside the floor of the takeout area where we found one of the two victims. Well, the victims, not young people, but uh, middle-aged, 40 and 44 years old. And the 40-year-old died first almost instantly after being brought to the hospital by Philly police. The 44-year-old is the one who crawled all the way across the street, carrying after being shot multiple times, uh, helped by fire department medics on the scene, and then rushed to a hospital where he was pronounced dead at 1.55 a.m. Two more homicides as we approach 300 again in a summer. Karen? It's just, it's so many and there's just so many families in the community getting ripped apart. All right, Steve, thanks.